In 2018 at WBC, I had the absolute privilege of designing and facilitating the after party decor. Now in that project, it was a tough gig. We sight unseen had to design um, a specific piece that I didn't actually know how it was gonna be rigged and installed. Now with these three little tips that I'm about to show you, we used all three of them at that WBC installation. Now they're simple like compression knots and just like little, little concepts that you can use in your business of how to help rig the products that you wanna rig. So firstly, I'm gonna show you what I call a compression knot. And it all starts with a loop, okay? So a compression knot is where we go from one point to another, but just like a pulley on a boat, you know, a pulley system where the rope goes up over a pulley, back down and up and down as many times as you want. The more times that rope goes up and down through the pulley, you have this fixed amount of space but with twice the amount of line. So that doubling of line actually halves the amount of force required, okay? So compression knot. So let's start. What I'm gonna do is tie this line around this pole. Now rather than just one loop, in fact, a little tip about poles, the more you can loop around it, and I'm going underneath and above this line, the more you can wrap around it, the more friction it'll have on that pole and the harder it will be to slide up and down. Okay, but so we wanna compress this point to this point. It could also be two organic garlands that you wanna to compress to make a larger three-dimensional structure. So the first thing I do is I tie a loop, okay? So you fold the line in half and tie it off. That's what I call a loop. Double knot it just to be safe, especially if you're making a loop out of monofilament, like a fishing line. It uh, can sometimes slide out of that knot. Okay, so from here, we're gonna loop around this pole through the loop that I made. And like we were talking about the pulley systems on boats, we've just created a system already where we're going through our loop and around the pole. So if I have extra line, I might as well keep going through. And the more times I do that, the easier my knot is gonna be. Now I'm not gonna pull this too tight because <laughs> it might break the, the metal. But you can see, in fact, a lovely little tip about this is I've just let go. The friction between all of these points, back, forward, back, forward, actually holds it in place. And that's pretty tight. So the advantage of that is I can easily tie my knot now without it bouncing back, okay? Because often if you tie one point to another point, you're holding it really tight, tying that knot, will just bounce back a little bit. So that's quite an advantage here of the uh, compression knot. All right, now back to WBC, we created this large sheet where we, we rigged it and lifted it up high. And uh, the, uh, what we did is we pre-tied all of our rigging points like this. And I had extra loops tied onto those lines that we used as a pulley. So I'll just go back here Okay, just there, tie that off. Okay, so our structure's down here and we wanna lift it up. So our loop that we've already pre-tied in, we could maybe tie another couple on, on the way down if we need more. But to create that method of a pulley, we just simply loop that up and over and back down. Tie it to our structure and at ground level, we can lift it up to the height that we need, maybe tie it back off to somewhere, maybe tie it back off to the structure itself. Now what if the rigging point, if, as we look down on the room, this is our square ballroom, and we have a point here and a point here, and a point there perhaps, but what if we wanna drop something, we wanna rig it, we wanna lift it over here? So through triangulation of point A, B, and C, we can find the point that we need. So if it's over here, I might tie from this point down to here. If the point where I want to drop it is over here, I can tie from this point down to there and we'll find it in the middle. So I'll show you quickly what I mean. Wrap that around a few times. Come back through this first loop. And if we wanted to compress this, remember, tie a loop. Double knot it if you can. Come back through here.
and see so we've created a, a point that wasn't available before by lifting that up. So with the loop knot and the compression knot, you can create rigging points virtually anywhere.